It's taken our next guest just three years to go from being known only in her West Lothian home to being one of the most recognisable faces in the world. The amazing Susan Boyle joins us now, and it's so lovely to have you here. Thank you for coming lovely back. Thank you for having me. Um, it, as Holly said then, that's three years since it all happened. Three amazing years. If there was one thing that you thought, if you were lying in bed at night and you were thinking, do you know, I can't believe that happened to me. In those three years, what would you pick? Well, I think recently, I think it'd be Donny Osmond. Really? Because he did, I've had a crush on him since I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a fan of musical theatre, aren't you? Well, very uh, much so, yeah. Yeah, so what was the first... Can you remember the first musical theatre show that you went to see? The very first one, apart from Les Mis, would be Cats. Yeah. To yeah. See Cats. So that's why this album must be particularly special for you, because it's, it's everything that you love. It's songs from the musicals. It's a song from the musicals, it's not also it's for everyone else, it's, it's, it's a different, different type of music. Yeah. Mm. It's varied. Well, they're very emotional songs, as you say, very varied, all sorts of different, different shows. What was it like working with Donny then, in that case? If you've, if you've got that one moment where you think, my goodness me, I can't believe I was ever going to do this. It was a very special moment working with Donny. He's a nice guy, isn't he? He's very helpful, very kind, very yeah. nice. And you had some fun with him as well, I imagine. Well, he had some fun with me as well. He did. did he? He had some fun. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so uh, your, your favourite music of all time, I suppose, would be what, Lim is? Lim is because it's a signature. That was, that was the one that actually started me off. Yeah. yeah. Special yes. song, that one, for you. And um, what about Therefore, then, having this love of musicals all your life and being inspired to sing that song, and then actually you being the inspiration for your own musical? Well, that, I found that pretty weird to begin with. Yeah. You know, a bit surreal. Having sitting your in the life audience. story, yeah. Because you would be sitting in the audience watching your life story. Yeah, it was a bit surreal. <laughs> yeah. And did you go up and have a go yourself? Did you, were you, you were in a few of them, weren't you? I was in about 60 of the 100 shows. So oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and is it going to Australia? Ruben has it, has gone to Australia, yeah. Do you think you might like to go to Australia and be in it yourself? I'd love to go to Australia. Who wouldn't? Who, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and are you going to sing for us now? I am, yes. Oh, well, it's, it's always lovely to have you here. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely to see you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Right, prepare to be amazed now as Susan performs a song from her new album, Standing Ovation, Somewhere Over the Rainbow.
Oh, it's lovely. Thank you, Susan, who was in uh, to see us last week.